Hi, so I really tried and failed with this Swiss roll and it didn't work at all, but I still thought I'd show you what I did because it was completely me that messed up. The recipe was fine and everything was okay and like the piping and everything, it was all fine, but it was undercooked and that was completely my fault. So I just thought I'd show you anyway how I did it. So I started off by, I made a paste and I started off by putting that into a piping bag so I could pipe on the little McLaren logos onto the lined Swiss roll tin. Now I feel like I made this look a lot easier than it actually was. Like, um, you'll obviously be able to see that I do struggle quite a bit. And yes, the logo is backwards, but that's just because um, obviously when it bakes it'll be flipped over and it'll come out the right way but, um, yeah it was actually these logos they're not easy to do and the batter kept on leaking out of the side which was not fun at all and it got all over my sleeves and yeah I had to do these logos like 25 times or something just to get a nice pattern and it only got harder because the batter started to melt and I think the room I was in was just too hot and this this was just a disaster for me. It wasn't what I'd planned at all. The thing is as well, was that I could have easily redone this and made it look a lot nicer than it turned out. But I was on a time crunch and I just didn't, I was pretty much too lazy to redo it all. So when I had finished piping all of them, as I said, the batter started to melt. So it was really difficult to control the piping. As you can see, some of them got a lot bigger than they actually planned to be, but it's fine because I, I could just roll up the hidden anyway. I'll put the recipe and everything in the description again. Again, I'm just making it clear I'm not dissing the recipe or anything. It worked perfectly. But it was just me being impatient and stubborn, I didn't want to remake it, and I let it underbake. Stupidly, I could have easily put it back in the oven, but again, I'm very stubborn. Now I've had a few comments as well saying that people are bored and like annoyed seeing me whisk, like hand whisk. But um, I just want to say I am saving up for a stand mixer, but like... I want one of the proper like KitchenAid ones just because I think they're the nicest and I am saving up I promise so hopefully I'll have one soon. So obviously I'm from the UK and the blue food colouring we have here hardly ever turns out blue. I say hardly ever, it never turns out blue. So I need to get like a proper one from America or something where you can actually get it to go blue because it just, it turned out really sea greeny and I was hoping that it would lighten up when I added in the flour and the egg whites. So then it was time to add in the egg whites, which I had to whisk until they were formed stiff peaks and then added in a third of the batter and folded it in and then added in the rest of it.
I think I've said this before in another video, but I can't see what I'm filming when I film. So I just want to apologize. The camera going out of focus a bit. I, I did not notice until I was editing this, so I couldn't obviously fix it by then. So again, I apologize. I'm sorry, I think I forgot to say, but I put the McLaren logos that were on the tray into the freezer so they could harden and so they wouldn't like melt when they were in the oven pretty much, so they would hold their shape. So while it was baking in the oven, I made some whipped cream to go for the filling and as soon as it came out of the oven, I lost the footage for this. I don't know what the heck happened to it, but um, yeah, it pretty much, you have to roll it while it's so hot so it kind of molds its shape and doesn't crack when it um <laughs> when it comes out the oven you'll see why i'm laughing when it comes out because spoiler alert it's cracked You can see when I start unwinding it, it does start to crack because it sticks to the tea towel because it was undercooked, which was 100% my fault. Not the recipe's fault, not anybody else's, just, just my fault and I take full responsibility for that. And I promise if you did it, if you do this, it will turn out fine. Just don't make the same mistakes I did. I also didn't dust the tea towel with icing sugar properly, so as you can see, some of the McLaren logos <laughs> fell off. But I wasn't too bothered because that would be covered when I rolled them up. So when I started to roll it up, obviously there were cracks there, but I'm just glad like the cream never poured out of them. And it actually held pretty well. It's, it held its shape, it was fine, and I just kind of turned it over so you couldn't really see the cracks. Yeah, I was actually pretty proud. And I decided just to cut the ends off because they were kind of burnt and I just wanted it to look nice. And here you go, here's the McLaren 2021 Monaco livery inspired Swiss roll. And I'm so glad the blue actually looks kind of baby blue rather than green. And the orange turned out really, really well. And I'm very happy with how the colors turned out. But obviously not the actual cake itself, but it's fine. It still looks good. 